Hey everyone, it's me, Lisa, and I'm coming at you with another video. This is the first time that I'm actually filming a video with full-on equipment. It is a test run, but it is full-on equipment. I have a super fancy camera, a super fancy tripod that weighs more than I do, my usual tripod for the lights, that, that works fine, and I have a super fancy mic that I'm testing for the first time. So, if nothing comes out of this testing, it means I didn't understand something. What I'm bringing to you today is a list of 45 crochet patterns that are incredible and that you have to make for this winter. So for the autumn one, you would have probably seen everything I posted, but if you didn't, you're welcome to go check it out. I will put the link up here and down below. And in that video, I was super glad that I posted it because it was super successful in my terms and standards. I was super happy of the response. A lot of people went to check out the blog. So I was super motivated to film this new one and bring to you another 45 patterns that are winter themed instead of autumn themed. And I like the seasonality of it. As in the previous video, I have divided all of the various categories of crochet patterns. I'm bringing you as first category winter wearables. And as in the previous video, you will find that I will leave a link to the blog post for all of these patterns in the description down below and you can go check it out. At the end, I will share with you as a bonus what I'm going to make for my family because my family doesn't watch my videos, so I'm going to tell you as a scoop. All of the patterns I'm mentioning are patterns that you can find directly on the web and that you can either purchase or create because they are free. First thing for the winter wearables is the Crystal Sweater by Ayo Loops. This sweater, I just think it's amazing. I don't think it's necessarily easy as a pattern. It comes in both a dress and a sweater. The results are incredible. I like all of the crisscrosses. I like how it's shaped. I just love it. So if you're into that, I definitely would suggest making that pattern. We have the Ezra Zip Sweater and it's by Handmade by Anna Louise. And this one specifically is also super cute. I like in this one the puffy sleeves and the fact that they are still fitted because they close down here. They are kind of like the one that I have but they are a bit more fitted, a bit more tight on the sleeve so it has a bit more of a puff and I really really like that option and the picture that I'm posting here is the one that is in the advertisement and I'm not in love with it and this is because I don't love the colors but I've seen some options done with the same pattern that really look amazing. So so of course I recommend it. I totally <coughs> I totally recommend it. And if you see me looking down, it's just because I have the patterns down here and I just need to get a little look, check them out, just to make sure that I'm not forgetting anything. The Sophie Top by Moon Fairy Crochet. This top is another one that I chose because of the shape that it has to it. I really, really like it. And I think it's simple enough that it's a top that contains variations. You can have it with chunky straps, no straps, thinner straps. So I really think it's versatile and it's adorable. And I don't know, this winter doesn't really feel like winter that much like sometimes it does especially if it's windy but otherwise I think that if you are in a mild climate you could totally rock this top especially maybe on top of a long sleeve t-shirt you'd totally like it and I think it would be super cool I'll pencil you in sweater by Lindsay Muscarella I like this one for the sleeves as well I don't know if you found out by the, this time but I'm a sucker for sleeves I'm a sucker for shape and I'm a sucker for looks and so this one is just simple but it has also the same thing that the sleeve is quite puffy and it goes down tighter on the wrist and I really like that I think that this is the perfect chunky look for winter the wrist warmers pattern by Bella Coco Crochet this one comes in two formats there is a printable PDF and also YouTube tutorials that are in a series that I've also put down in the link if you don't want to pay for the pattern and I thought that could be useful especially if you're one person that like me likes to do runs 
in winter and so when you go out and especially in the morning it's freezing cold your fingers are dead and if you have some kind of mitten or glove it's going to make it a lot easier on yourself and the triple ripple wrap by heather c jibs it's a simple scarf, but I thought that why not? You know, we are in winter, there's wind, and it still looks very cute. I like the color pattern that she uses in the picture. All of the blues, I really think, give it an edge. I'm totally in love with that. By Yumali Crochet, the Elena Cardigan. This one I chose because I think it has a kind of retro vibe to it, but it still looks super duper cute, and it's kind of cropped, so it doesn't give you that old maid kind of look but it still gives you a homemade feel more of a vintagey feel and i really really like it we have the holiday jumper for a little one by Kristen. i'm sorry mispronouncing Stoltzfus. it looks kind of a mini female santa it also has retro vibes to it i like the color the pattern a bit of everything from it and i thought that last time i had a whole categories for little ones this time i couldn't really find stuff that spoke to me but i still thought that including something for little ones could be a cool addition we are always in this for little ones the easy baby booties by estelle mispronunciation once again volker Voil, Voilker, I'm sorry, I don't know how it's pronounced, but those baby booties are so cute. I love them so much. It could be a cool idea to dress a baby like Santa, like they could be buddies, <laughs> Santa and the baby. Last in the category, we have the Denali Pullover and Cowl by Margaret Hobart. This one I liked because it's a bit of a half pullover, half cowl, and it has this uh, chunky bit in the neck that covers it. So it's really cool because you don't need a scarf in that sense. You just have your little jumper that also doubles. And so I think that's absolutely adorable. And it's a genius piece. I think that I'm all of a sucker for pieces that can double as something else. I did it in the last video as well when I showed you the pieces that, for example, could be cropped or uh, had different usages than usual pieces of clothing. And this one totally is my style. and I totally would make it. The Pine Crochet Sweater by Brianna Designs and this one I really liked because of how it's made, the decorations, the colors and on Instagram I found some adorable sweaters made with this pattern so I totally think you should check it out. Home accessories. Here we have some things that are truly gold. The O Christmas Tree by Anna Moari Soares is just so cute. If you like table mats, this is just so beautiful. I just think that you would have fun putting it on the table, displaying, showing it to your family and friends. And I love how colorful it is. The Crochet Gingerbread Stocking by Golden Lucy Craft. This one, I put some stocking down because I know that some families have the tradition that many presents go down in the stocking. It's personally not ever been a thing of mine but I thought why not making your own stocking if you have time for it and I just think that this one is very sweet and the gingerbread feel is very much Christmassy feel very wintry the easy free Christmas stocking pattern by Nicole Rayleigh this one is free as I said and it's just so cute because I think it's nice and easy just something that I would personally like to make if I had the time for my children and and in the winter season, there's not only Christmas, the 6th of January, there is another festivity. And I think that that could be doubled up as those two things if you don't do stockings for the Christmas presents. The pillow cover set by Honey Art and Nature. I included a pillow cover set because I definitely think that if you have the time to decorate your house, it's something worth it. It looks to me like it's all made of granny squares. So granny square lovers, this is what is for you. I just think it's very cute very simple but at the same time incredibly festive and it can really change the look of your house the gingerbread house cushion cover by cozy nest needle that one is the first one that i selected and it is because it just okay they are shooting up fireworks so if you can hear them well enjoy. I just chose this pattern because I think that it gives a very wintry feel to the cover without being 
too Christmassy. It just looks like a wintry village. It's not 100% Christmas. And so if you're not a fan of Christmas, you might like this cover because it's a bit more neutral, a bit more winter themed and not specifically Christmas themed, which is the majority of stuff that I found for this season. The crochet pattern for Polar Bear Coffee Cup Cozy by Enchanted Ladybug. He had a Polar Bear Cup Cozy in the last one as well, but this one is a bit simpler, I feel. And it's cute and cozy, but simple. And it gives winter, doesn't give Christmas, which I think is a win-win if you're not a fan of Christmas. Country Christmas Pillow by Joyce Geisler. It just looks amazing. I don't know if you need a lot of skill to make it. I actually have not really looked into the pattern, but it looks a bit complex compared to the other ones. But if you definitely have the skill, I totally suggest making it because it's just gorgeous. And I totally think that it could brighten up your decorations for the season. Christmas Stars by Shelley Husband. Uh, and this is a free pattern and it's a garland. And I really, really love how they look. You you know that I'm a sucker for garlands. I've so far made only one. This is because I've been a bit lazy with crochet in the past weeks because if you know, you know, I've been robbed. My phone has been stolen. It has been a rocket ship of emotions and misfortune. So I am slowly coming back to myself, coming back to real life. And that has been what has been stopping me from making more crochet because I have spent my evenings staying awake being very, very stressed. So this is something that if you're a sucker for garlands, it's easy enough, but very Christmas and very winter. The Don't Set Ya Doily by Gemma Air Oven. I've never put down a doily for any of my videos. I've made only one, okay. But this is because I've just fall in love with doilies and how pretty they are. They require skill. So I'm gonna tell you, here I've put down things that are not only for beginners, but they are also for people that are a bit more skilled. And this one is definitely something that requires a bit more skill, but the look of it is just so pretty. Like I cannot get enough of it. So I just, I'm gonna put it out there. For me, it's gorgeous. Because I think in the past grandmas made doilies and they were all white and they were pretty, but now we have so much option with color that just makes it look so pretty. Like in my mind, I'm a sucker for color. So the white one is a bit basic, but if we can do a little bit more, I'm all for it. The Christmas doily by Gemma R. Owen and the Christmas doily as well is just so nice. They all run around colors that look like an Italian flag and also Christmas. The Santa placemat by Seacliff Cottage. I put down that because if we have stuff for people that are not super into Christmas, I also wanted to include stuff for people that are super into Christmas. And so that one, I think it looks cute. The Tingle Kitchen Set by Rebecca Grieco. This is a bit more general. It just has a color pattern that is very winter themed, but I don't feel that that screams winter or Christmas. So that one is a bit more neutral. And I think that it would be a cool addition if you're looking for a new set for your kitchen or to gift a new set. That could also be a really cool idea. Last in the category, we have the Holly Jolly Bed Runner by Dana Rushhold. And this is in the theme of the placemat. It just looks so cute for children. That would be so cool. Like they would find Santa every morning when they jump into your bed and wake you up. The winter accessories category. We have as first one, the Jasmine Coasters by Nordic Yarn Art. These ones, I really think that they are the ones that to me scream Christmas the most. They have an interesting stitch. I think it's called the Jasmine stitch and it's a stitch that I've not worked with, but this designer specifically is very famous for doing everything with a Jasmine stitch. And I think that the light blue screams winter and all of those petals look like a bit flower, a bit snowflake. So it's so cute. And I think that if you want to learn a new stitch or if you're familiar with the Jasmine stitch, this is a really cool way to learn the Jasmine stitch with a pattern that is not super complicated and doesn't require so much perfection. The Christmas season slippers. These I needed to add because they just look so cute. They are in so much variety. We have a Grinch one, a Santa one, a tree one, a reindeer one, and they just look amazing. I feel that they would be very com oh, sorry Mike 
I feel that they would be very comfy. If you are looking to gift someone a pair of slippers, including to yourself, I think this is the pattern for it. They are just so much fun. As slippers, I also have the Chunky Sloth slippers on Ribbler. And this is a website that has a lot of free patterns. And this one specifically I liked because the idea of the chunky slipper is just something that I really love, especially if you have feet that become super duper cold or are into that chunky look for the slippers. If you like chunky slippers, that is definitely for you. The Crochet Mini Christmas Wrath Cozy by Heather Corinne is the last one in this category. And this Wrath Cozy is really nice in my opinion because it has the Christmas wreath but it's also a cup cozy so it doubles up, it's really cute and it doesn't scream Christmas. Last but not least we have the last category Christmas season amigurumi. I went all out for this one I'm telling you there is so much in this category. It's the one that I couldn't stop adding to because they are just so cute. I started with the nativity set that was something that I was eyeing since a long time by Riku Rumi and it's a pattern book that I think comes to your mail and I've linked down to the only place that I could find where it wasn't sold out so I really hope if you want to get that it won't be sold out by the time you are gonna get it. It doesn't appear like there is a digital version of the pattern, it only appears to be a physical pattern book so you really need to get that one. The Reindeer and Scarf by Yuval's Crochet. And this is one of many reindeers that I'll show you, but it's just so adorable. I think it's made with chunky yarn and it really looks beautiful and it could be beautiful as a gift or something just for you to keep or decorate. Reindeer number two in Dual Packet by Crochet by Jenna. So I follow Crochet by Jenna and she brings a smile to my day. She is so productive, that, that girl. I cannot keep up. She does so many things and she gives me motivation and she's also so good at what she does and the dual pattern that she sells it with is with the reindeer and a snowman and it just looks very adorable this is made with chunky yarn as well crochet by jenna if you can support her do not that she needs my help she definitely doesn't but it's always good to support another youtuber and in her case small business owner the last reindeer the diddy the little reindeer by tight maned kukai I don't know how to pronounce it. Why I like this one specifically, it has a mail bag that goes across his body and it's filled with mail. This is just, ah, <laughs> it's just so cute because it gives the character depth and I love that about it. So this is why I put it in and okay, off with the reindeers, I hope, but I had to put in something from Muffy Corn. If you remember in the last month one, I also put in something from Muffy Corn. And so far with the Muffy Corn patterns, uh, you know that I bought the garland from Muffy Corn and I also bought a muffin mug that was autumn themed. So far, what I have of that is this is one of the little pumpkins and then I need to sew it up together and fill it up. I've not done it yet but basically I made one in this color and it turns out that I don't know how I lost it. I was in a really big rush, needed to go and so I lost that one and it's such an annoying thing because it was a pain to make. Here we have for Muffy Corn something pretty similar to what I got last time. This time the mug and the gnome are separate and it just looks so cute. There is a thing with gnomes in Christmas and tradition and I don't know if you in your place where you live at you have a gnome tradition but I know that in Italy in many places there is so maybe you would like to do a gnome that reminds you of your ancestors and your tradition. The crochet Christmas minion pattern by Woodland Kiddies. I cannot. It's just so beautiful and I cannot say anything about it. I just found it and it was adorable. I had to show it to you because the minions are just something that brightens every one day. Personalized bubbles free crochet pattern by Aguinas. In my opinion, adorable. <laughs> they look like balls and I think that you can attach them to your Christmas tree and they are shaped like desserts, like reindeers, like snowmen. If you want some Christmas decoration, that is so for you. The Snow Globe Amigurumi Free Crochet Pattern by Cool Creativity. And when I say free, it means it's free. 
So this one specifically, the free crochet pattern, I just thought it was nice because the snow globe is also a testimony that can look good in travel and Christmas. The beauty of the snow globe is that everything rains or snows all the time. For Christmas, you could make a crochet snowball and it would just look very, very cute. tell me that this is not perfect. It's a beautiful game, a beautiful piece of decoration. It's just pretty and I love that it, sorry guys, if the audio comes out sucking, it's because I'm not used to the mic. I keep bumping into it. It's one of the first ones that I bumped into and I'm definitely in love with it. The Cute Amigurumi Christmas Tree by Craft Ideas. That one is really nice, really sweet. It's for people that are in love with the classical but also in love with the cute. I love that you personify the tree, give it a little personality, it just changes how you see it a little bit. The Gingerbread Man by MKRHO2. I needed to add a Gingerbread Man but this one I added specifically because it's double. It uses the candy cane of one of the gingerbread as a cane for a substitution because one of the gingerbread doesn't have a full leg. Maybe it has bitten off, maybe it was born without it, we don't know, we don't care. He is able to stand up thanks to the candy cane and I found it so cute that we can see difference in the gingerbread man. It's not only a normal gingerbread man but it's also a disabled gingerbread man. The Christmas Angel by Winter Art by Dolly Sweet Softies. This Christmas Angel is another one that I've been eyeing for months. You can make it with different colors of hair. Here it's also very beautiful because you can also diversify the hair, make it with a little hat, a little bonnet, make it a little more complicated but it just looks so cute and I just feel that Christmas and angels go together and in this time of the year it's especially important to remember them and remember the people that were not there anymore so you can make your angel look like someone that you miss and I think that would make it even more special. Ferdinand Fair Tree, the Christmas ornament by Stella Yan universe. This one is a bit more classic because we had the cutesy tree and this one is a cutesy tree but it's more classic style. It's not one that I would have chosen at the beginning. I would have liked to have a tree that doesn't have a bark, just basically have a bark inside of it and looks a bit more stable let's say but this one is an ornament and it really looks cute so no shade, it's really beautiful. Spencer the snowman, another snowman but it is just so cute. This one is one that I found on Instagram and there is the full free pattern on Instagram that you can just scroll through and I've provided the Instagram link and it's just so cute because it has headphones and it looks very modern, very party-like. So I definitely think that it adds character to the snowman and I couldn't not put it in. The Little Christmas Free Ornament by Agnes Russell. This is also free and it just is so adorable. It's a Christmas tree that has a bit more depth and dimension and I really love it for that reason. That is a special normal tree that you can make and it's gonna look amazing. The Gingerbread Ornaments by Ernata. I had to add these because they are just something else. There is a full box of gingerbread ornaments and they are adorable but it's not the only thing that you can find in the shop. There is so much more and I adore it because there are other types of designs that I've looked into for different sweets that are maybe Christmas themed and they're not gingerbread. It just adds to it, okay? Oh, I have another number of I Love Amigurumi. Guys, <laughs> this is news. I definitely need to go check it out. We managed. We are out of the gates. I've told you every single one of those crochet patterns. I'll put everything in the website and I really hope that you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below if you want to make something because I totally want I cannot decide what I want to start with because, oh yeah, I told you, I needed to show you the Christmas gifts that I have for my sister and boyfriend. So my boyfriend will be forced to watch this video, but he cannot see what his pattern is. So by the end, he now go off, cut off, you cannot watch it, bye. So this is the pattern that I want to make for him. And it's a pattern that I will make for him and his family because his dog is currently very sick. He has cancer and he is 
basically pulling the last strands and I'm not gonna cry in this video, I won't, but I have been in love with that dog so much and he is clearly in love with the dog and uh, the situation is really taxing him, it, he is not feeling good at all about it and so I want to make a dog that resembles him and that is the same colors and the same breed. So this is the dog that we are talking about and this is what I, I hope that he will enjoy that as a present. I hope that he won't consider it offensive because there's something that maybe is still touchy at that moment. We don't know. We don't know if he's gonna pass out away um, soon but the signs point to it and I'm very sorry that I won't be there for it but hopefully um you know we'll have good memories about him and um, then possibly move on so that is the one for my boyfriend and this is the one for my family that one is a replica of my dog and my dog is crazy <laughs> she is so childish in things but so smart she brings so much happiness to our home and i totally hope that you enjoyed this list you enjoyed this whole system and you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like subscribe to the channel i love you guys see you soon